for sure. And I think when I um, and I think actually, you know, I'm a passionate feminist, but I think what's happened recently, particularly in the sort of the, the PC argument, is it's not seen as um, uh, fashionable to look at what's happening with disenfranchised men. And I think now we've got the, the, the violence that we're seeing in London that, that's probably about to change. But for so long, the conversation has been on gender, which is right, of course, we need to level the playing field where gender is concerned. But what is brewing is uh, the breakdown of uh, families within many disenfranchised communities and the, the negative impact that that's having on the men in those communities. So in this book, um, I look at um, uh, black men, Muslim men and white working class men. And particularly, I think, what's going on with white working class men in our society is something we should all be really concerned by because they are the largest male group in Britain. And if we're not investing in them and we are continuing to allow them to have the lowest literacy levels in our schools, to be the least likely group to go to university, particularly when you look at what the jobs of the future are going to be, um, I think the ramifications are, are pretty catastrophic if we're not careful. So yeah.